John, what an excellent game defensively for this team. What did you like from the defense tonight? I think we stuck to the game plan uh, through the whole game. We know they're going to come in the, in the second period for sure. And uh, I think we just stuck to the game plan. We, we had five guys coming home all the time. And obviously, Bish is really good playing the puck. And we, give them, we didn't give them any time or space at all. And we could break out pretty clean all, all night. So it was a really good team win for sure. Yeah, you mentioned Ben Bishop. What can you say about his performance tonight after that great home opener the other day? Yeah, he just, he just keeps going. I mean, he's been really good through the whole preseason as well and through the whole camp, for sure. He's, he's been setting the tone from, from back there and uh, letting us know this for real. It's been quite some time since the Stars have beaten Winnipeg. What kind of a statement win is this for this team? It means a lot for our team, for sure. Uh, division, uh, division game, and obviously we had uh, two, two rough seasons against them, and, and obviously... We feel really good about this win. It gives us a lot of confidence, for sure, and we really felt that we were doing the things we had to do out there. Congratulations on the win, John. Thank you. Jamie, first off, congratulations on your 600 career point milestone. Big night for you, but also a big night for your line. What did you like offensively tonight? Um, you know, I thought we were moving the puck around pretty good, um, you know, holding on to it, making plays, and um, you know, connecting, and it seems like we were all on the same page on the power play, so that helps. You all started with such a statement first period. What made it possible to ride that momentum through the rest of the game and not taper off against this Winnipeg team? I think we just took, took advantage of uh, our opportunities. Um, you know, Rad's got us started there, and uh, I think we had a PP goal after that. And you know, our team's just buying in to, to try and play the right way, play fast, and um, you know, we're getting good results because of it. Through all phases of the game tonight, do you feel like Monty's process is coming together and clicking with a win like that? Yeah, um, you know, we're all trying to believe in the process and, um, you know, when we execute and, you know, pay attention to our details, uh, you know, good things are going to happen. And once again, uh, I thought we did that tonight and um, our goalie played pretty good too. Congratulations on the win, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Guys. Fun for you to watch that top line work tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, some of those plays, I was just like, wow, Nelly, did you see that play? <laughs> did you see that goal? They were special tonight, but more importantly, as a team, I thought we were really good. I thought our puck pressure, I loved our start. Um, I thought we could roll four lines, and each line was building momentum. Uh, can't say enough about what Brett Ritchie did. You know, like, he's playing a great role, but <clears throat> to go out there after we have momentum and to keep building emotion for us, and, we, and I thought we were really smart about our emotion. We weren't emotional, but we played with emotion, and that's a hard line to find. We found it tonight. How much does, does what Brett do, how much does that have an impact, right, at when it happened, A, with the response, and B, just going into an intermission like that? Uh, it, it, on the bench, you could feel it, and then everyone talking about it and going to, you know, high five them or congratulate them and thank them uh you know it's it's a big part of uh, building a team and um it was uh, that was a important part for our team what he did can't go um the the value of it you cannot underestimate what about shutting down a penalty kill like that tonight yeah i mean uh, i got to give credit uh, to coach bonus uh you know the, they had a great plan and i got to give credit to our penalty killers because they executed and our best penalty killer ben bishop was awesome again tonight does a win like tonight mean more because it came against a team like, like Winnipeg that kind of is uh, prognosticated to be a, a contender? Well, I mean, Winnipeg's a really good hockey team. Everybody knows that. But I, I don't think it was because it was Winnipeg. I just thought it was because of the way we're starting to play and the way people are starting to gain confidence in their roles. But <clears throat> let's not get too excited. It's game number two. we we got a lot of room. we got to get better. What is the role of confidence in this process? It seems like you guys came right out at the beginning and wanted to impose your will, establish your game, and then I think it feeds confidence when you're able to do that. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I just know for us as a staff, uh, you know, they're, they're getting... Uh, success from the way we want to play and uh, when you do have success that just leads to confidence and more belief and trust uh, with us with them them with us and them with each other yeah the tan of disallowed goal was that pretty clear in your mind that it was goal interference there you know what if, if you can explain goalie interference me like I mean <laughs> I you know what it, it was a big it was a good break for us uh, Jamie didn't really think much about 600 points, but what, uh, from your perspective, what, what does that mean? 
in 600 points in the uh, yeah, I mean, it's about 594 more than I ever had. That's what I know. <laughs> uh, it just speaks volumes about, you know, what he's done here in his career. Uh, but what I've really enjoyed about Jamie Benn in this short beginning of the season is how vocal he is and how accountable he's holding people on the bench. It's, his leadership's been very valuable. Yeah. Last game, you um, talked about when your team jumped out to lead, you didn't like how they responded to it. What changed about tonight? Was it better, or did you do you still feel like there's some urgency that still needs to be maintained after? No, out? I thought we were significantly better. I mean, you, when you play a really good hockey team like the Winnipeg Jets, they're going to have their moments, and they pushed in the second, and they pushed in the beginning of the third. But I thought we protected our house a lot better. I thought it was an easier night for Ben Bishop tonight than it was against Arizona when we gained the, the lead. Um, your defense has been in transition really pretty much all preseason, adding Carrick late. How have they come together? It just seems like... This is a very pleasant surprise for what may have been expected. Well, I mean, I don't know if Connor Carrick has played. I don't know him well enough to know if he's played two best games he's ever played. But his poise, um, his ability to, uh, to win battles, and his skating and his the way he can escape and make good plays has been very, very. It's it's the type of defenseman that really um, thrives with the style of play that we want to play. So uh, kudos to him to come in here and play with confidence like he has. Um, but, you know, it's, again, it's two games. I don't want to get too excited here. What a night here at American Airlines Center, and it's yes. two for two. And, Razor, there was a time the last two years you saw Winnipeg on the calendar, and you knew it was tough, and in the end result, it normally didn't work out well for Dallas. It was complete role reversal tonight. It was in every aspect, too. You know, uh, the, the best players for the Stars were the best players in the hockey game by far. Special teams was a mismatch in this one. The Stars' power play went to work here tonight and destroyed their penalty killing. The Stars' penalty killing was stout. The goaltending, although though Hellebuck wasn't awful, uh, Ben Bishop was terrific here again in this one. And the other thing I would mention is play away from the puck because I remember, especially last year, the Stars couldn't generate scoring chances against the Winnipeg Jets. Their, their play away from the puck in their own zone was impeccable. And again, they flipped the script uh, here tonight. Stars were the only team that didn't beat the Winnipeg Jets last season. Well, they made up for it here tonight. One for one so far, two for two on the season.